Hey again, guys, Mr. Zigner. We're at chapter four, lesson four, and we're simplifying fractions today. So we're going to look at our main idea, some vocabulary, and we'll jump right into three examples where we're going to simplify fractions. Okay, well, there's the main idea. Obviously, the only thing we're worried about today is rewriting our fractions in simplest form. And two new vocab terms that we'll be defining, equivalent fractions and simplest form. We'll do that in class. So here's a little example, 12 45ths. We're going to rewrite that in simplest form. So you're looking for a number that divides into both 12 and 45. In this case, the number is 3. 3 goes into 12 four times, and 3 goes into 45 15 times. Now you know you're finished at this point and that 4 15 is in simplest form because there are no other other there are no other common factors, only one. You could divide one into four and 15, but it's not gonna change the numbers. There are no other common factors greater than one. Now it's our turn, 32 fortieths. Okay, so we start with our 32 over 40. And now we start thinking, well, what could I divide into both of those numbers? Well, I'm thinking about my eight times tables. I believe eight goes into both of these numbers. So I'm going to divide it by eight. Let's see, 32 divided by eight is four, and 40 divided by eight is five. There we go. I've divided the numbers 32 and 40 by the same number, eight, and I've gotten an equivalent fraction, four-fifths. So there's our answer, 4 fifths is 32 fortieths simplified. Now we have 28 over 49. So I'll write my 28, my 49. And now I'm starting to think, let's see, how about my seven times tables? I think seven is a factor of both 28 and 49. So I'm gonna divide each of those numbers by seven. Well, 28 divided by seven is four. And 49 divided by 7 is 7. Oh, well, there we go. 4 sevenths. Before we move on, real quick, just looking at that 4 and 7, are there any other numbers that divide into 4 and 7? Absolutely not. So that's when you know you're finished and you're ready to move on. In a bag of 96 marbles, 18 of them are black. Write the fraction of black marbles in simplest form. So we have our 18, we have our 96. Now we need to start thinking about which numbers would divide into 18 and 96. Um, how about this? Let's cut those numbers in half first. Let's divide them each by two. All right. Half of 18 is nine and half of 96 is 48. All right, am I finished? Turns out no, no I'm not finished. Can you think of what else might divide into 9 and 48? Turns out it's 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 48 divided by 3. That happens to be 16. You can reverse that and say that 16 times 3 is indeed 48. So there we go, 3 over 16. Now is there any other numbers that go into 3 and 16? Turns out the answer is no. So we're finished. The answer is 3 sixteenths. Hey, there we are already finished at only four minutes, roughly. So there's the end of simplifying fractions. So do take a look at the questions below my video and uh, make sure to sub hit submit and you'll get my little message saying that you submitted your questions. And then we'll see you in class tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me as we work our way through the 7th grade Math Connects textbook. Feel free to email me with any questions. My website is www.mattzigner.com. On my site, you'll find links to my math blog, some of my favorite educational sites, and lots of helpful information for students, parents, and teachers. See you next time.